Hello my dear Jennifer Lawrence fanboy or fangirl, I'm Petr, your glorious lord and welcome back to Besiege. Today we are going to look at water, steam and rope machines that were created due to the 0.11 update, but first we are going to take a look at the flaming mockingbird. Isn't this amazing? This looks so beautiful. It looks so wonderful. I love this. I don't really love the movies, the movies are a little bit shit. Jennifer Lawrence is nice, I like her very much. She is also very very interesting in interviews. I think that's why people like her as well. But here it is. It is wonderful, my friend. This is beautiful, but now we are going to go on to the machines that we actually want to see. The first machine that we're gonna check out is this water-propelled Zero-G jet. It looks very futuristic even though it has medieval components. That is very very difficult to achieve, but thanks to these water propellers or water blocks, everything looks very very nice. So let's start it up. Once we start it up, not that, we start it up and now we can control it up and down. Very very gently, we don't wanna overdo it. Left, oh look at this. It, f it feels like uh, like you're in space, you know, like you're controlling a spaceship, and <laughs> that's awesome. I like that very much. Uh, go up, go up, go left, right, see, you can, you can tilt as well, as go up and down, left and right. It's a little bit, it's a little bit difficult, and also the initial machine had all of the propellers, or should I say water blocks, set to uh, automatic, so once you click it, it's gonna just keep shooting water, which which was a little bit odd for me. I couldn't really, I couldn't. Oh shit! Not that, not that wrong button. Wrong. Oh, <laughs> I lost my wing. I lost. My, I'm lost in space. I am lost in space. Stop control, please, please. Oh shit! Wrong buttons. Wrong buttons. Okay, let's let's stabilize the machine. Can we stabilize the machine without a wing? I don't think we can. Let's see. <laughs> it's a little bit difficult. Okay, control. No, no. Wrong side. Wrong side. Turn around. Turn around. Excellent. Thank you. S slow down. Slow down. Slow. No, I I need the second wing. <laughs> I need the second wing. So this is how you can create a beautiful space machine using water blocks. And I I'm, I very much like the fact that in zero g the water block is very very useful. You can use it very nicely, as well as steam. Steam is so beautiful in zero g. And now we're gonna check out the steam machine. And here it is, the steam machine, the steam flyer. It's very, very nice. It flies in, I think in normal. I don't think it flies in normal. Maybe it does, let's check. <laughs> I don't know. It might, it might fly. I think it might fly. I just need to learn to control, stop. Oh, whoops, whoops a daisy. So I just need to learn to control it and then we will probably be able to fly. Not that, not that. <laughs> I'm afraid this thing does not fly in a normal conditions, but under zero G, let's check it out. Fly, baby! Oh wait, whoops, this fly! Come on, little guy, fly! Oh, look at that! Look at that, it's wonderful! Oh shit, oh whoops, okay, it's good. It's good, it's flying! Holy shit! Look at it go! Okay, uh, I should probably start controlling it, because I'm not controlling it. Okay, we are controlling it! Holy shit, look at this! Wait, no, oh, wrong button, wrong, no, 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 oh, uh, turn, turn! Turn! Okay, it crashed a little bit, but I think we are still under control. Yes, we are. Okay, we are on fire. It's not good. This is not good. This is bad. But it's still flying because it's zero G and it's, it works. It's just, you know, the flames will never go out. The steam will never go out. Oh, look at it go into space. <laughs> Goodbye, little friend. See you later. See you in, see you in space, I guess. If we ever get to space. Oh, holy shit, what happened? What happened? What happened? I think I lost myself. I lost myself. We better get onto the next machine before I lose myself in, even further. That, that's gonna be bad. Now this machine, my friend, this one is an awesome one. We have to be in zero G, but it generally works. So let's start it up. See, now we can go left and right. We can go forward as well and backward. I hope I can go forward and backward. I think I'm in, in the wrong position, but it doesn't really matter because we can do this. Check it out. Check it out. Launch! Launch time! Yes! Ooh, nice! Oh, that was wonderful. That is wonderful. <laughs> Some of the bombs did not really ignite or set off or detonate. You can choose your own word. I'm not going to stop you from doing that. It looks amazing. It works amazingly as well. I just hope I don't... And it happened. 
and it happened. I should have expected that to happen. I know this map. <laughs> I know everything about this map. I should have known that my machine would go to shit. This is very bad. Okay, let's stop it. Stop. Let's get a little bit closer, shall we? A little bit closer. Param, 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 do 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 Oh! <laughs> oh, I love it. It's magnificent. Launch the first one. Not in me. Not in me, you stupid. That is so silly. And look at them fly. They're still flying all over the place, even though they exploded. And I lost everything. Everything exploded. This is so silly. <laughs> and I love it. This one is a good one. I really like this machine. This machine also feels very, very futuristic, basically because of the zero G, but still... It is designed very futuristically, it, it looks like some sort of a space, space war machine. And especially because of these beautiful, beautiful bombs in the front that are powered by steam. It's just, it's wonderful, isn't it? I, I love this machine, this is my favorite machine so far, by far, because it's so powerful and yet it's very satisfying to use it. And let's check another steam machine. This one in particular is very nice, it looks like a rocket. And it pretty much functions like a rocket too. We can spin around. Is it spinning? Yes, it is. Look at it go. Look at it go! It's wonderful. See, when you, when I use it like this, it looks very, very powerful. I like it very much. See how it spins the fire, the steam, everything is wonderful. And it keeps going. It will not stop. It will never stop. It will stop once it dies. Can we return back? Do I know what button to use? Oh, the ball! Oh, no! The fiery ball of doom, oh no, it froze, everything froze, uh, this is not good. <laughs> Look at this little part, it's still going but it's frozen, it's awesome. Okay, so just one is still left and it's still going for some reason, I don't really know why. <laughs> but everything else is frozen, this is like being lost in space. There, we are lost in space, nothing around us, well it should be dark, it's not dark so it's technically not space, maybe this is like a... Alternate space, uh-huh, uh-huh. Maybe this is like space in some other universe Where in that universe space is this color imagine a space in this color I don't think I would like that. I prefer the darkness the black darkness This looks a little bit too bright and you would need a source of that brightness I think at least maybe in that universe things work differently. I don't know, but <laughs> enough with the steam machines Let's check out one water propelled machine. And here it is, the ugliest machine I have ever had the pleasure of working with. I like it very much because it's so ugly, it's disgusting, and it works. That is the only thing that matters, so let's start it up. So, how does it work? It's very simple. See this rotor in the middle? It gets stuck a little bit, so you need to you need to like push it a little <laughs> a little bit to start working. And it it is working. Look at it. Look at it go. With water. It doesn't really go left and right all that uh, much. <laughs> it doesn't really go. Oh shit, got stuck. But it moves. I think that is the important thing, that it moves. Oh shit, it's on fire. This is not good. Water, help me water. Help me water, go go the other way. Go the other way. Can I go the other way? I don't think I can go the other way. This is not nice. This machine has flaws, but it works in a way. Oh no, everything is on fire now. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely has flaws, but it functions reasonably well. I think. Not really. <laughs> but it does function. I mean, I know that I would never be able to create something like this. Or maybe I would, but it would take me a long time. Because I'm a little bit stupid. It takes me a long time to do things, most often. Except for, you know, that obvious thing that takes like a few seconds. We are going to go now onto the rope machines. So the first one that we're checking out is the cutter. The cutter is awesome because at first, you will probably start uh, spinning this little thing immediately, which is a bad thing, you don't want to do that. So we're going to start it up, we gotta pull this in, and then start spinning like crazy, and then pulling out. Look at that, they are completely devastated. See, because if you stop it, and if you start spinning now, see, everything goes to shit. Everything goes to complete crapness, and that's, that's not nice. You don't like that. Nobody likes that. So you need to pull them in, start spinning like mad, and then extend and smash them all. Holy shit. <laughs> Let's go into the level. You know which one. Oh, holy shit, it's flying. Holy crap. It can fly. Can it fly? That would be amazing if it can fly. Holy shit, it's so fast. <laughs> it's so fast. Oh, the ship is still alive. Let's kill the ship. Oh, nasty. Goodbye, ship. 
This is very nice. Let's go into the, my favorite level. Are you ready for this, my friend? Let's do it. Let's do it. Pull it in. Start spinning and extend it. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's too many. Oh, there's too many. This is not nice. Not nice. I don't like this. I need to pull them. I need to pull the machine a little bit further away. I think this is far enough. So let's try it out now. Pull it in. Start spinning and start extending. Not too far. This is good. Nice. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's too many of them. Uh, come on. Kill them. Kill the rest of them. No. They managed to cut all the ropes. All the ropes are gone. This is not nice. So maybe we can reposition the thing. Or maybe we should not extend it too much. Maybe that's the thing. So let's try that out. Pull it all the way back. And start spinning. Extend it a little bit. Start smashing. Nice. 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 Not nice. I guess there is too many of these motherfuckers for the cutter to deal with. Unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Well, I tried. I tried my best. But it is a very nice machine. It spins like crazy. I thought they would be able to kill all of these four. Would be able to kill all of these soldiers. But I guess it's not enough. Maybe we would need to add more. Maybe add another level. You know, add like a another thing up here. Or something like that. So feel free to download this machine. Experiment with it. Add more levels. Do whatever you want, my friend. And hopefully your machine will be able to kill all of these motherfuckers. Cable car. Check it out. Isn't it amazing? Well, it, it is technically a rope car. Or a rope way. I'm not really sure how to call it. But what I like the most about it is this area up here. See how he uses the environment to his advantage to block this from falling down. By simply putting it <laughs> here and <laughs> blocking the way. <laughs> it works. And also, what the machine lacked down here are these ballasts. So I decided to add a few ballasts. Just a few, not too much. So this area down here stays, you know, in one spot. See? It doesn't work. I can press V 7 billion times. It still doesn't work. But it helps. These ballasts help. I should probably secure them a little bit further, but it's fine. Doesn't really matter. Gets laggy like a fucker because there's a shit ton of blocks, but it works. Check it out. Now it can go up or down. Not really sure where I'm going. Okay, we are going up. Excellent. I was pressing the wrong button, but we are going up. See? <laughs> the cable car is working. Uh, although you can see in this corner that uh, shit is happening. And <laughs> shit is bad. But it, it kind of works. So I, th I suppose that there should be a way to block this from moving. Like... I don't know why the grabbers aren't working. I think they should work. You know, they should stick to the ground. But for some reason they are not sticking to, to the ground. Maybe the force is too strong. But this area up here works. So we can see if we can get all the way up here. I love it. This is this is an amazing contraption or device. Or <laughs> whatever it is, I don't know. Get up. Get up, little guy. It's very close. I, I heard bombs. I heard shit happening. Here it is. Yeah, oh no, what the fuck? No, what's going on? Oh, everything is on fire. <laughs> I guess the bomb exploded. Oh well. So, I'm not really sure how to uh, make sure that this little shit stays at the same spot. I don't know how that can be done. But, oh Jesus Christ, goodbye little guy. Everything went to shit. Unfortunate. I think that this is one of the most impressive machines that I have seen. So in this video, you can see like three machines that I really, really like. Probably the best machines I have ever seen. So hopefully you guys will like them as well. Feel free to check them out on Steam and other places. I think I'm going to put them in the description below or something. I'm not really sure. But, but oh, nice. Thank you very much for watching, my dear beautiful bastard. I hope you are playing Besiege from time to time, because the game is very nice. The more stuff they add, the more things people can build, so we can only expect better things in the future. So, thanks once again for watching, and I shall see you next time.